All right, time for another digging adventure. Uh, this is a hole. It's taken me about three days to get to this stage of it. I kid you not, maybe more. That hole is nearly 25 foot up to that brow up there, to the bottom of it there, which ain't quite the bottom. Uh, but I'll get back down to that shortly. I'm not going to mess around today. It's, uh, it's a lot of work to do. All I'm going to do is cut off, hopefully, and show you the finds as and when, and if they come. Okay, um, it's had an hour or so, just getting down to what we call in there, uh, well, around these parts, the nitty gritty. It's where we start finding stuff, hopefully. Uh, it's very dark down here because of the depth again. Uh, we should be able to pick it out. Just got to, I don't know if you can see, it's a, it's a, it looks like a cod or a, it's a broken one. Um, but just starting to come to life, so hopefully we might get a bit of action. Little potted meat pot. A little glint of glass in there, a cod bottle. Oh, yeah. That's a Hurst's. That looks like a Hurst's liver seed. Some of these have a rare patent stopper in them. Uh, can't actually see. It's what they call a parachute. Uh, the marble's like a parachute shape, but I don't know. In this case, it looks to be round, but I can't tell till I actually clean it. Now it is unfortunately round, but yeah, you do get these. No, it looks it looks round. Never mind. It's the difference between a fifty pence and a hundred pound, basically, but it looks round in this case. I love little bottles like this. Next scene registered for sticking everything. That's what they call in the trade a real disappointment. Um, Parker Lodge Dental Surgeon Salford Huddersfield, Lockwood Huddersfield. About three or four of them lids known. Quite a rare lid. Sadly a bit past it. Little doll's head. It's another, quite a well made ornament. Uh, I think it's a candle holder. I I think the top little bit might be missing what holds a candle out. May have just been a decorative item. It does have an handle on back. Uh, makes you think it was for a candle, but it's quite a well well made well made thing. Um, can't see a back stamp on it. I'll have a better look when I clean it up when I get it home. Just pick out the glinting glass at uh, the back there. I can see a, a picture of an eagle. It's not one I, I really recognise. True. That's a very nice bottle. Black glass with an eagle on. True. Truman and Co Limited. London and Burton. Mm. What a real bottle is that? It's a nice embossed bottle. You can see something poking out the gloom up there. There's no guesses for what it is. Well, not for me. I can see it's a... <laughs> it's a lid. And it's a... It's a, a Holloway's lid. Uh, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, no, there's a, there's a couple of nibbles around 
thing. It's a two and nine size. It's not bad. It's a fantastic design on it. I've seen a good few over the years, but I still 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 puts a smile on my face. Well only just. I literally put the other one, that last uh, the last lid I've had on the side, and poking out right next to it, there's another, and I can see it's the same because it's got the same design. Yeah, it is. Same one, same size. Oh, oh dear. A couple of nibbles on that, a bit worse than that other, but. It's pretty bit of a scratch on it, but not bad. I have I have had these in hordes before. I once got seven in one dig, so hopefully it might be like that. But must have been some pretty scabby fork around to need so much ointment. Yeah. Complain at that. See if I can get some more. Looks like the base of a ginger beer is sticking out. <laughs> it is. Some pretty good nick. It's about the commonest one we get round here. Nice kind of copper print on it actually, it's just a shame it's just so boring and no nice pictures on. It's another pictorial beer up among the roots there. As you can see it's a Sheffield Stones bottle. They had a nice bottle with a weight lifter on. I thought it was cheap there, but it isn't. It looks fine. There seems to be a pictorial date today. There's a cod I had earlier. It's amazing, the glass is pretty clean near the top of the hole and the bottom of it is sick as a pig. Quite a nice pair there. That makes everything a bit simpler. 1896 vintage, bottled 1898. There's a little ointment pot tucked away up there. What's that? Yeah, uh, hollow, another Holloways. This is a little pot, uh, chip, nasty chip on it. Uh, kind of goes with the lids. Don't. Perfect fit. Right. I think that's it for today. Uh, it's got a few more bits of tap, no great, and no caving in. There's a lot of roots on top of all. It's very hard to cave in, it's very hard to see what's coming out, but I've had a fair day, quite happy with yeah, quite happy with that.